common problems affecting the biceps tendon. The biceps muscle has two tendons in the shoulder, the long head and the short head. Pain at the front of the shoulder commonly occurs from conditions affecting the long head of the biceps tendon. The biceps tendon arises from the superior labrum at the top of the glenoid. It passes underneath the transverse humeral ligament in the groove between the lesser and the greater tuberosity of the humerus. The biceps tendon ends by inserting into the proximal radius at the elbow joint, the site of insertion called the radial tuberosity. What is the function of the biceps? The biceps works as a humeral head depressor, it is a flexor of the elbow, and it is a strong supinator of the forearm. What are the conditions affecting the biceps? Biceps tendonitis, biceps tendon rupture, biceps tendon subluxation or dislocation. So let's take biceps tendonitis. Biceps tendonitis is an inflammation or irritation of the upper biceps tendon. Recurrent microtrauma to the tendon and overuse with repetitive overhead activities lead to biceps tendonitis. These activities include sports such as baseball, tennis, swimming, or lifting weights. Biceps tendonitis usually occurs in association with other shoulder problems. What are these associated conditions? Shoulder impingement, tears of the glenoid labrum, called labral tears, shoulder instability, shoulder joint arthritis, and rotator cuff tears. Shoulder impingement is the main cause of biceps tendonitis. What is shoulder impingement? The soft tissue between the humeral head and the acromion can be inflamed, pinched, or squeezed with arm movements. What are the symptoms of biceps tendonitis? Anterior shoulder pain and bicipital groove tenderness. Clinical evaluation of biceps tendonitis. How do you do the speed test? The arm is supinated and the elbow extended. The patient is asked to actively forward flex the shoulder while the examiner is applying resistance to the movement. Tenderness over the bicepital groove indicates tendinitis of the long head of the biceps. Treatment. Conservative treatment in the form of rest, ice, physiotherapy, steroid injections, inject around the tendon, but not through the tendon. Ultrasound guided injection may be helpful to inject around the tendon. Surgical treatment is done if the condition doesn't improve with conservative treatment. So what is the surgical treatment options available? Biceps tenotomy, the damaged biceps tendon is released from its attachment. So you cut the biceps tendon and let it fly. It's done in the elderly and in low demand patients. The patient may have subjective cramping and it may result in a papaya bulge. Another technique to deal with biceps tendonitis is the biceps tenodesis. The damaged part of the biceps is removed. The remaining tendon is reattached to the humerus in a different location. It's usually done for active, high-demand patients. There's another condition affecting the biceps, the biceps tendon rupture. The rupture can be proximal or it can be distal. The biceps tendon may rupture at the top of the bicipital groove at the shoulder area or it may rupture at the radial tuberosity at the elbow. Proximal biceps tendon rupture. The rupture occurs at the bicipital groove. The biceps muscle moves distally or down towards the elbow, creating a Popeye deformity muscle. 
There is minimal loss of function with a long head rupture because the short head of the biceps remains attached to the crocoid process and remains intact. Proximal biceps tendon rupture is usually treated conservatively. Surgery is not the usual form of treating proximal biceps tendon rupture because there is a minimal loss of function. On the other hand, a distal biceps tendon rupture is very important. The muscle rupture at the radial tuberosity of the elbow. A pop is felt at the elbow when the tendon ruptures. The rupture should be repaired, otherwise there will be a loss of flexion and spination. The loss of spination is more important because the brachialis can continue to flex the elbow. How do you do clinical evaluation of the distal biceps tendon rupture? By the Hawk test, the patient actively spinates and flexes the elbow to 90 degrees. If the distal biceps tendon can be hugged from the lateral side of the elbow, then the biceps tendon is probably intact. Treatment. Proximal biceps tendon rupture is usually treated conservatively. Surgery is rare. Definitely the treatment is not operatively for the elderly. Most patients will become asymptomatic after four to six weeks. The conservative treatment will consist of rest ice physiotherapy. And the surgical treatment will consist of reattaching the torn section of the tendon to the bone. It's called tenodesis. and It's usually done in association with other reconstructive surgery. And it is rarely done for cosmesis. How about the distal biceps tendon rupture? It's usually surgical. Avulsion of the distal biceps tendon is treated with tenodesis using sutures to anchor the tendon into the radial tuberosity. How about biceps tendon subluxation or dislocation? The transverse humeral ligament and pulley system which holds the biceps tendon within the bicepital groove can become injured. When it is injured, the biceps tendon sublux or dislocates in and out of the bicepital groove. This most often is due to incompetency of the pulley system or may be associated with a tear of the subscapularis tendon. Movement of the biceps tendon within the groove may be accompanied by snapping sound. Treatment of biceps tendon subluxation, conservative treatment, rest eye physiotherapy, steroid injection, don't inject through the tendon, inject around it. The treatment can be conservative. However, tenodesis of the biceps tendon should be done if the condition does not improve with conservative treatment. If there is an associated tear of the subscapularis muscle, the treatment will be repair of the subscapularis muscle and tenodesis of the biceps tendon. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.